This is the MT Predictor weekly update for May 20th. Well, here's the daily uh, YM, the Dow Mini contract here. I just want to take us back. This area here was an area where we had a significant high in the S&P or the ES. And once we hit that significant high, I said in the weekly market update that we would expect a correction. Well, and that the correction would be uh, mild, basically, due to the fact that we had strength on the STF uh, to the upside. And so I felt this correction would be rather shallow and that we would go on to new highs. Well, we did make a new high in the, uh, in the Dow. And you can see it uh, wasn't a you know, breathtakingly major uh, takeout of the prior swing, but it was a new high. All right, the problem that we had, though, that we ran into on the S&P itself, here's the Dow, or the uh, S&P mini on the daily chart. There's our significant high. As you can see, it had the, the pullback, but when it uh, the Dow made its new high here, the S&P failed to make a new high. And that's why this setup at the time I was telling you uh, wave potentially wave two. So instead of looking at an ABC uh, correction here, because I believe this was a significant high, we'd be looking at this wave one into wave two, and then I projected wave three down, which I'll do now. Uh, and that the danger here was that we would see the Dow or the uh, S and P down to thirteen hundred. Well, of course, that's uh, exactly what we got last week. As Thursday and Friday, we uh, uh, hit that typical wave three target area. Still strength on the STF to the downside, so we could, uh, you know, head down maximum wave three, which is uh, sitting right around 1250 in the S&P. Uh, or we can go ahead and project wave four here and see if we don't get a bounce uh, at this point. Let's just go up wave four. Two clicks on the software here. And this is the area we should correct back to, which is just below uh, 1340 in the S&P. We'll call it uh, 1336. So the potential, we do see more downside, so we'll have to see if we get a uh, correction back into the wave 4 area and if we roll over again if the STF is still showing strength it's telling us that there may be more downside ahead so uh, it may come in either immediately or after we get a pull back into this wave 4 uh, area so watch uh, watch for that but basically the uh, wave 3 target down uh, hit there at the 1300 area in the S&P Here now is a chart of the 6E, that's the Euro, the uh, weekly chart here. And our last uh, signal there was a decision point sell signal. I put the analysis on here. You see we're close to the target at 2561. So the Euro will have to make a decision if we come into that area. Uh, if it holds, we call it decision point because it needs to make a decision. If it holds as support, then we should rally off that area. Uh, we could take our decision point. The next uh, minor resistance then would be uh, right around this uh, 3611 area. Uh, if this fails, if this uh, support fails to hold, then we could take a decision point off this last swing here. And we'll get our next major support area just below that uh, 1500. So that's the euro. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, let's take a look at the dollar index. Uh, again, here's the weekly chart. Here's our uh, decision point buy signal. A nice high volume spike there. If I put the analysis on, you'll see the target is the DP off the last swing high into the low. And in fact, I think on the daily chart, uh, this TS4 buy signal here, it's that same target. 
that's off that last swing from the uh, in, into that low. And uh, that's sitting around 82.94. And so we'll see if the dollar rallies into that area if the euro continues to slide into its support. Showing some strength on the STF here. So uh, telling us, you know, even if we get a little pullback, that there may be more upside ahead. So we'll see if the dollar can finally finish out, get up into that 82.94 area. Uh, let's take a look at oil. You can see oil, the slide there. I can put the uh, analysis on this trade. And you can see oil really uh, sank all the way down to this typical wave. Three targets closed below that. And if that low gets taken out, which is uh, 90, 30, uh, sorry, 90, 93, if that low gets taken out, we could see more downside there. Let's take a decision point. We're in some decision point support there as well. Let's just drag this over. I didn't catch it perfectly, but you see this. We're in the support area there, so. Uh, still showing strength on the STF to the downside doesn't mean we can't bounce here before things roll over if that strength continues. So we'll see. And then uh, your next decision point uh, support area there. If we do get more downside, well, you'll be looking right at uh, around 89.15 area. All right, so we'll see how that uh, plays out. And then finally, let's take a look at uh, gold here. I'll bring this one in. Again, this is the weekly chart of gold. We've gotten a fairly good pullback now below the weekly 50 period. Here's your weekly 200 period. And it's a, as deep a pullback as we've seen well, you'd have to go back to the crash in, in 2000, the stock market crash in 08, to see us uh, have a have a, a deeper pullback. Because you see, most of these buying opportunities below the 50 period, going back to you know 2002, you see they're fairly shallow. Uh, you know, we we pull back below the 50 period, and it's right there. Okay, this is uh, going back now to 2005. Here's another, you know, pretty small pullback. Again, pretty small pullback. Uh, and this goes all the way back now to, you know, 2002. So basically the last 10 years, these buying opportunities below the 50 period have, uh, you know, with the exception of the crash there in uh, 2008, have been fairly shallow pullbacks below the 50 period. Uh, you know, similar to what we had back here. All right, this one has come maybe a little deeper. We'll see uh, if we find support. We'll take a decision point off of this. Uh, just it'll be below. Uh, it's sitting at about 1495, 1495.96 area. That's what that looks like there. So we'll see if they can come down into that area uh, and find support. If not, then we've got a, you know, if this area gives way, then we may find, you know, we we may have a bigger correction in the stock market than uh, uh, we're anticipating at the moment, anyway. If they take this area out, then uh, we may find ourselves down at the uh, weekly 200 period. And again, that may be a very, very, very good buying opportunity for the longer term player. So we shall see. And uh, well, let's just take a peek at the uh, silver here. Well, silver, you got another potential weekly long setup there. A target of 3640. Uh, let's see what's the high there. So if they can get to uh, basically 28.72 this week, that would enter that to the long side. 
but because again we had this significant high this wave five high up in that fifty dollar area in silver this could potentially be wave one wave two here and we could be headed wave three down it's a possibility again I don't put a lot of weight on the patterns in silver just because it's a much uh, smaller market it's easily pushed around but again here's your wave three target which would take you down around fifteen dollars silver uh, so we'll see and uh, obviously if if gold heads for its 200 period moving average on the weekly chart then we probably would see that fifteen dollar silver area so it's a possibility but you know we'll, we'll see and that also mean that our correction in the stock market is going to be bigger than we expect uh, so anyway we'll uh, we'll leave it there I guess I will show you just one uh, thing on the uh, intraday charts because we had some nice trades we're in a, a good cycle in the e-minis anyway over the last uh, few days the uh, our we've gone on to new equity highs but here was the NQ, the uh, NASDAQ uh, mini here on uh, Friday. Uh, set up a nice, well, the first uh, setup here was this TS1 sell signal. That was good for uh, 3, almost 4R. So on a $375 risk, taking about $1,400 there in profit. There actually was a uh, earlier sell here that was a uh, losing trade but you can see you get in you get stopped out there you know you lose small lose through three hundred ninety dollars your next setup you're taking out fourteen hundred dollars and then uh, later again the trend was down it's red the bigger trend is down uh, the whole day here put the analysis on that and another 2.7 R, so another $360 risk, small risk, large reward of $968 there. So uh, some some very nice trading uh, in a good cycle in the E-minis right now. We'll see how, how that lasts. And uh, finally, the economic calendar. Uh, you've got existing home sales and new home sales on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. And then Thursday, jobless claims. That's probably the uh, the bigger releases this week. So stay on your toes. We'll take a look and see uh, how we progress here in these markets. We'll do it all again next week. Have a good trading week, everyone.